Hello everyone, Major Frenchy. Welcome. Today I'm going to show you how to add a table to Pinup Popper. Now, I know we've gone through this before, it's quite easy, but what actually is different is, you know I showed you the, uh, the, the in the last video how to install the latest game from VPW team, the uh, Goonies Never Say Die. Well, this table is actually 10.7. Uh, using VPX 10.7. So if you actually go in Game Manager, just normally like you would add a different, you know, a table, and uh, you just want to add a new game, well, it, it is not going to be there because it is actually in a different folder because I'm using a different subfolder for the beta of uh, of VPX 10.7. So this is my regular installation, right? It's in the uh, C folder, Visual Pinball, and it gets, Pinup Popper gets the tables from that folder here. But uh, in order for me to run the 10.7 version, I, he I need to install a separate version of VPX 10.7 in its own folder. So the tables are going to be here. So Pinup Popper does not know that. So today what we're going to do is we're just going to create a new emulator. It's going to be a lot easier. To do this, you're going to go to Popper Setup, and then you're going to click on Emulators. And in the Emulators, uh, we're just going to uh, basically create a new one. And uh, to do this, we're going to click the plus sign right here, and uh, we're going to call it uh, VPX 10.7. 10 Now we're going to launch the exe folder, so we're just going to point to where that folder is. Now I created a shortcut here, so it's actually a lot easier. Actually, you just need to point at the root. So I'm going to select, okay, that's the folder. The game folder, well, we're just going to go in the same It's going to be the table folder here. I'm going to select that. And the game uh, is actually VPX right here. I'm going to save it. I'm going to click OK right here. And we're just going to go to VPX right here. And the launch setup, we're going to copy and paste this, folks. OK, select all, right? Control A, Control C. And I'm going to go to VPX 10.7 here. And I'm going to do Control V. I'm going to paste that. Okay. So um, if you've changed the name, if you've changed the name of your uh, of your Visual Pinball X, right? Like here, I see I got V Pinball 7.exe. Just so I know. Uh, well, it it will not work with the script. So you got two options. Whether you change the name in here that reflects the name of your VPX, or you can just rename this version here the same as in the script. So you've got two options. So um, actually most people will just kind of leave it the way it is. So let's just, uh, let's just revert it back to the way it is. It's probably going to be easier. So we're going to click the little check mark and we're going to click close. Now uh, let's just try to add a game. So we're going to go to game manager. We're going to go to uh, right here, game manager. And I'm going to, from the drop down here, I'm going to select uh, VPX 10.7. It should now show in your list. So this, now of course there's no game to it, right? We haven't added any. So in order to add a new game, we're going to have to click the add game right here. And we can actually click the drop down and we're going to select 10.7. And we're going to scan for new games. These are the games that I only work in in 10.7, which is exactly what I want. So for the time being, I'm just going to add the Goonies, okay? So I'm going to add to System. One game was added, all right? Okay, now we're going to add a playlist to display what we just added. So we're going to call it uh, VPX 10.7. You know, you can just drag where you want your playlist. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna drag it where I want to see it, and I'm just want to put, I want to put it just below VPX right here. All right, and uh, we're gonna save the display order, 
And now uh, I can just add the game to the playlist. So I'm just going to drop down right here and I'm going to pick VPX7. There's only one, as you can see. Select, add the game, and we're going to close. And now we're ready to exit and launch. So there's the there's no um, icon yet, but we can just add it whatever icon we want here. And well, again, there's we have we didn't add any media. Actually, let's just do this now. Okay. So if you go in your in the pinup popper system, and if you go if you go in and pop media, default wheel. Here you can see all the different wheels that we're using for the system. Okay. So we have see how it is for the playlist for the icon to display is pl underscore uh, and then the name of the uh, the playlist that you gave right dot png well i don't have one for 10.7 so just for sake of time okay i'm just gonna pick uh, oxo right here okay i'm gonna duplicate it and i'm just gonna rename it so pl underscore and then the name of your uh, playlist so i call them VPX 10 7. So that's the name of my playlist. So let's just test it, uh, this out to see if it works. There you go. So now we have the icon that we decided, you know, for 10.7. And you can put whatever you want. So this is how you change the icon for the wheels. So let's just now go back, all right, because we're not quite done yet. Uh, we need to add the media to this. Okay, let's go back to the, uh, the, the pinup popper setup screen. Now we're gonna go to media manager, all right? So in the media manager, we're gonna drop down the filter. We want 10.7 only, and there's only one game. So um, the easiest way, guys, is just to use the online downloader. So if you click the little the world icon, uh, click on that, and then it will look on the server, and then you can pick whatever you want. So let's just uh, look at... Uh, this is future pinball. Let's try this one here. Now that's for the topper. Okay. We're going to hit preview and it gives you the preview for the Goonies pinball. So we're going to use this image right here. Uh, the launch audio, there's nothing. Uh, the audio itself, the apron full DMD. Let's see if anyone did. Uh, yeah. Andrew Walsh. Thank you, Andrew, for this. This guy's phenomenal. He does a lot. So there you go. So we're going to use this. Download and use the video. And the flyer. I don't know if there is a flyer. I don't think so. Help. No. The back glass. Let's see what back glass we have. Uh, that's for future pinball, though. So we could actually, uh, we're going to record our own. Okay. I'm going to show you how to record your own. The DMD. Uh, we don't need because I got the full DMD. For me, that's this one right here, okay? And uh, the play field, let's see if we have... No, it's for future pinball only, so we're going to record our own. I don't think there's a loading, a loading screen. Ooh, there is. Ooh. Micus Legrand. Oh, he, he does some beautiful work, too. That's beautiful. So I'm going to download that for sure. Thanks a lot, Micus. And the last thing we're going to do is the wheel image. We're going to click that. Ah, uh, we got animated wheel from Pritch. <laughs> Pritch33 on the Discord. Uh, you can check all his work. He publishes it here. He does amazing uh, amazing work. Uh, thanks a lot. So we're going to use this image. So that's this is an animated image. You'll see what it, what it looks like. It's pretty cool. So we're, we're kind of set. So we're going to need to uh, do our own back glass and play field. And that's it. All right, so we're going to go to our game system, VPX 10.7, and here, there you go. So you see the animated wheel, and then we got the DMD, but we got no play field or back glass. So let's just launch the table. That's a great loading screen. I like it. Look at the uh, sparkling in the uh, call. That's pretty cool. So we're going to actually record the play field in the back glass using the operator menu built into uh, Pinup Popper. Like I said, check my videos. I got a, I got a, a tutorial on how to set that up. 
Uh, this is a long table to load. Um, it, it may have to do with the version of 10.7. Uh, I know it's, again, it's, it's still beta, folks, so there's still going to be glitches and stuff, so don't, don't be alarmed if, if some stuff does not work like it's supposed to. There you go. It's loading. Uh, we got the, everything working. Now you see how the um, see how I don't have the uh, the bezel right for the DMD. It, it disappeared, the full DMD bezel. So uh, I'm gonna show you how to to fix that. You knew this, so but you can set some flags for the different games, like one by one. So for example, if I go here and I decide I want a certain screen to always stay on. See right here, keep display on. Now I'm gonna check mark the full DMD. So, or it, it see right here, it says use emulator by default. The, uh, the actual flex should be in the overlay. We shall see. Well, it disappeared earlier, so we'll. Recording has stopped. Please wait for encoding. Do not touch system. Okay, so it stays there. Let's try to add a ball. And see if the overlay stays. Oops. Conversion now done. Enjoy. It wasn't ready. So, all right, start. All right, stays there. So there you go. We're back on the main screen, and we have the proper DMD. So see, guys, there's always a little fiddle around. And actually, I'm not even happy with uh, the way my uh, flex is centered. I will need to adjust that. But that's how you gotta set it up. And now we got it working in Pinup Popper. Thanks for watching, guys. Come and visit us on the uh, Discord. Actually, you can speak uh, to Nailbuster, too, if you want to say a thank you or if you have a question. And uh, thank you for watching, guys. We'll catch you in the next video.